And in our final big segment before we close things out for this episode, a bit of a tie-in to my last one on the Star Wars deal is kind of a bugaboo that I have about modern movies. I have a confession that I need to make, and I probably shouldn't. It's kind of a secret. But I'm going to anyway. I'm going to reveal this, and it probably makes me seem like a total... Yeah, I don't think I've seen a movie in the theater in like five years. Perhaps you should get out more. (laughs) Seriously, uh, it was like one of the Lord of the Rings or something. I mean, yeah, I saw, I've seen movies, but I see them on the internet. Huh, the internet king. I wonder if he can provide faster nudity. Or I see them at home. Or in a white slaver's ship, uh. Strike! Holes! I don't know. I, I see them in my mind. No. <laughs> you just blew my mind. <laughs> I don't have. A lot of drive to see movies in theaters anymore and the main reason is because I finally figured it out you know what it is it's mainly because CGI movie makers today are lazy I mean really they're lazy every movie looks like a freaking video game nowadays I saw on another uh, video site it's actually one I normally like and I might include a link I don't know if I can remember where I saw it praising that movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes where they were boasting and just thought it was so neat that Andy Serkis did all these apes, did did the main dude and dude. 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 The main ape, Caesar, whatever his name is. Pizza, pizza. CGI apes running around and doing whatever. First of all, the plot of the movie, as far as I can tell, is stupid. I mean, apes are not going to take over the world and aren't going to take over humanity. I mean, hello, nuclear weapons. My gun's bigger than yours. When apes can not throw feces and start throwing nuclear bombs or daisy cutter bunker busters against us, then they can take over the planet. I love the smell of Bird crap in the morning. The premise is ludicrous. Beyond that, they thought, this site thought it was just so cool. Way cool, dude. That all the CGI was in there. I'm sorry, it's lazy. It's so lazy. Movies aren't even fun if they look like video games because, you know, they don't give you a controller and, you know, you can't sit there naked or in your jammies and, and play this thing. You have to just sit there and listen to some fat baby scream in your ear. Hey, baby! And you don't get to do anything. You don't actually get to play it. I have a general rule now. If I see a trailer for a movie like on YouTube or on TV, if it's 90% CGI, then I'm not going to go see it as a general rule. It's it's boring. It's it's not fun. I might catch it on video. Check you later. What, what am I saying? It's so last century. I might catch it later. Check you later. Check you later. <laughs> hey, man, you off my case. But I'm not going to go into the theater and see it. I mean, why? Why bother? The reason why the classics like the original Star Wars and even Lord of the Rings trilogy of the 2000s were so innovative and so cool, in my opinion, is because there was so much reality there. I mean, you take Lord of the Rings. I actually think the Lord of the Rings trilogy of the 2000s is the new Star Wars. It really is, because those were real places. There really was a Helm's Deep. There really was the Shire, and it had its own architecture. I mean, when I say really, I mean, there were real sets, physical places. It wasn't all blue screen, green screen, fake dudes with ripped abs screaming at the top of their lungs like their jarheads on crack. Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! Speaking of which, that was the reason why Small Hall, Small Hall, Gollum, you know, was, was played that way. Because you couldn't do that with a real person unless you get a crackhead. Oh, my neck, my back, my neck and my back, oh. How are you going to do that? 
So it made sense to do some of that stuff. The Spider-Man movies. No, I'm not going to go back into it too much. But you can't do web swinging from skyscrapers with a stuntman. All I'm saying is CGI has become a plague. It's become a festering plague in movies. We need to get back, I think, to original special effects. Or at least get back to the original style of movie making. I would like to get your opinion on it as well. My opinion, personally, is that CGI is just, it's, it's overdone. They're movies you remember because they're there. They're physically there. I mean, the Orokai were, were dudes, the Orc army. In, in suits, Maori Indians, a lot of them. I mean, there was some CGI added in to make a million man army, but yeah, there were really people there. And the Rohirrim, the riders, they got 200 horses in that scene. We need to get back to that. We need to get back to original effects. So to close out this segment, what I'm going to ask of you to leave in the comments, how, how do you feel about CGI? Is it overdone? Do you, do you think I'm wrong? Uh, do you think it, it'll get to a point where we won't notice it? Just give me your thoughts, and we'll close things out in just a moment. Be back. <laughs> 